Well, I just did an update, an upgrade to my CNC machine and uh, replaced these components, this back piece and, and all of these pieces uh, that were wood and plastic, 3D printed, printed plastic with aluminum plate. And wow, what a difference. It's much stiffer, much more accurate, and I'm glad I did it. But what I wanted to point out was the way I mounted the router so that I could have some easy tram adjustment. Um, what I did was create uh, an additional aluminum piece that mounts to the router, and this aluminum and this uh, you know backing piece mounts to this uh, rail piece here, the rail uh, plate. Uh, but what I've done is I drilled four holes, two on each side, and those are clearance holes, but they're oversized, and I've added a washer. They're really large holes, and I tapped four holes in this back piece. Um, so the idea there is I can loosen those screws, and I can tilt this in this direction, back and forth as needed. And I also added four additional holes two on each side, tapped with no hole in this back piece. So the idea there is I can have a set screw like I've got here and there, and I can use those set screws then to push in this direction or, or add a little angle. You can kind of see it there. There's a little bit of a, of a, of a, of a gap at the bottom no gap at the top where I've accounted for this being a little bit out of out of plumb I guess you could say it's not it wasn't quite square with the with the um, spoil board at the bottom um, added these holes at the top in case I ever need to go the other direction I need to bring this top out I would just pull the screws put them in the top and that allows me to go in the other direction so so you can kind of imagine that now I can I have the ability to make this adjustment. So I can fairly easily adjust the tram on the router whenever I need to. Um, only issue is, of course, to make this adjustment, I have to loosen the four screws and risk throwing everything out of whack. So I basically have to make all the adjustments at once and then tighten the screws down as needed. But so far so good, it's working really well. And if you're making your own CNC, um, and this might give you an idea, maybe you can come up with a, an even better way than this, but uh, I thought maybe I would put this out there just to show you how I did it, and maybe you could uh, make an improvement on that. Um, made all this uh, with um, plate available from Amazon, cut it on a bandsaw, um, and then finished everything out with a with a belt sander and uh, came out pretty decent. I think it looks looks pretty good. Pretty good for me, anyway. So uh, maybe that'll be helpful to someone. Hopefully. Thanks.